Hey guys, it's Iowa here again. Going to bring you a nice recap against Silver Warrior. In this recap, I'm only going to show first hit three stars. I believe we had 10, or, or excuse me, 12 first hit three star attacks. Uh, they were all Town Hall 9, and you can take a look at what they did to our bases there. Um, Lamb Tam was able to get Keeve there, which is Town Hall 11, and he had a nice attack on this one. I won't show it because it wasn't wasn't quite a first hit and going to kind of stick with that theme here but uh nice job lamb on that one and you know javi had a, a three star uh, on a town hall 10 there as well so our guys brought it we had a great war and but this this is going to serve as a two-part thing i'm going to do the war recap and i'm going to talk through some of these um attacks but i'm also going to um talk about maybe the future of the channel and a big thanks to you guys i hit a thousand subscribers and that's a big deal to me um i originally started this channel out as something you know to kind of showcase a couple of our attacks uh for our guys help our guys and our clan to get better i didn't think uh really that it would you know amount to much so i'm, I'm ecstatic that i got a thousand uh keeps growing and i, and I kind of hope it does keep growing um you know further we'll see how far we can push it but thanks for your support uh i do this as a hobby i don't get paid for this i did monetize it um but my equipment i bought an elgato recorder and a lightning adapter and i record off of my iphone uh, i get asked a couple times on you know what i use to record so that setup was about 200 bucks and youtube doesn't pay you out until you reach a hundred dollars and i started this uh, back in August and I have yet to receive a check from YouTube so not doing this for the money I'm still in the in the red as far as that goes I don't do it for that I do it because I enjoy making the videos I enjoy um, showcasing you know the guys and my own attacks too uh, I'm one of them guys and maybe you guys are too that you know if you plan really hard on an attack you get a really tough base and you sit there for a half hour hour thinking it over how how you're going to come at it and you finally three star it with your plan and it just works out perfect i'm one of them guys that goes back and watches my attack like six ten times sometimes and just like oh man that was awesome i don't know if i'm the only nerd out there that does that but that's part of the reason i also wanted uh to do the channel just to so we can go back in time and see some of our our, our great attacks that we had elo had a, a a nice one there and like i mentioned you know all these uh, were first hits. So our guys brought them. Silver Warrior is a great clan. I'm familiar with them. I was in Crystal Warrior for a little while. And Keeve was the former um, leader of Crystal Warrior, I believe. And then he uh, split off before I got there. And But I always, I've always i known of uh, Silver for a long time. Uh, good group of guys that came over and helped us in a range war one time. So um, props to them. Good war guys. They brought it. Uh, just fell a little bit short so uh, but anyway things that I'd like to do to the channel moving forward I want to get live attacks in um, I don't know exactly how to do it to bring other people in to get their audio in it's a technical thing I'm not a very technical person you can tell uh, by looking at my videos I'm not I don't have the most polished thumbnails and things like that I'm, I'm just doing the best with what I got uh, you know, and doing this as a, as a part-time gig. So if I could figure out how to get audio uh, in there, I could record the guy's attacks, but to, to have them do like a little sketch or something beforehand, I'm going to have to figure out some of the kinks on that. But I, in the meantime, I think I'll at least be able to do a couple live attacks of my own, um, you know, and, and get the audio and stuff in there uh, on that. So hopefully I can get that coming in the near future uh, to you guys. So there's also uh, something else I've been... Uh, brainstorming about and working on is bases uh, I know people are looking for good bases like war bases and stuff and I have a little library of, of bases that I've come across over time some of them are going to be from bases that I've uh, seen some of them are going to be homemade that I've made uh, you know using uh, different principles um, of good base design but uh, again some of them I'm just I've borrowed from other people and modified too, so uh, that the the players in the top war clan circuit use. So I hope to get that to you uh, too. I've got a lot of things, but I am a busy guy, and so I don't record every single day. I have kids running around, so I have to wait till they go to bed. Uh, otherwise, there's going to be screaming kids in the background, and I'm sure you guys uh, don't want to hear that. So anyway, we've come a long way as a clan. Uh, four or five months ago, would we have beat Silver Warrior? Probably not. They probably would have squashed us. Our guys have come a, a long way, so I appreciate 
you know, my clan members, we merged with the Wickedest uh, several months ago, and that's been a great help to our clan. And that was one of the other things uh, about doing the channel. I believe uh, Elo might have talked me into it. Uh, he, I think, I think it was him that said, "Man, you should, you should do a, a YouTube channel for us." You know, we were having trouble recruiting, and I'm sure many of your clans are that way too. It's tough to find good players, and so we wanted, you know, maybe. Uh, a little platform if some people saw some of our attacks that we could get uh, some recruits uh, some good recruits and it took a took a long while to uh, really start paying dividends but we've gotten a few uh, a good good clan mates from it some loyal guys some great attackers so uh, it's it's starting to pay pay dividends that way where we're getting a, a few good clan mates from it and so uh, again I enjoy it thanks for the thanks for the support and we'll kind of, I kind of, if I think of anything else as this recap goes, I'll uh, pop in on it. But nice attack, Mac and player that just uh, went through there on that. I also, I had a, a six star war on this one on first hit, so I am not going to show those this war. I'm going to break those out in a separate video because I know exactly how I plan. I know my thought process, so it's easier for me. Uh, to do like a, a breakdown video on one of my attacks versus the other guys. I mean, I can kind of guess how they were planning it if they, you know, shared a sketch or something and we kind of went over it or just by how the attack went. I know what they're doing when they set up a funnel and stuff, but it, it's a lot easier for me on why I do stuff. Uh, easier to break it down uh, for you guys. So I'm going to try to get a couple of those out. I, I was pretty proud of my attacks. They were both uh, Archer Queen walks and I even did an Archer Queen walk go wipe uh, You know, I just the base was just set up for it and I knew I could do it So I kind of kind of did that and, and and was able to pull that off Okay, Space Ghost is uh, Coming in on this one gonna bring a max attack And we had a, a little variety of attacks on this war. I think in this video. I have some max attacks um, several go Vajos and uh, maybe maybe straight up uh, stone goho attack again if, if you've been watching our recaps at all or if you're new to the channel uh, at town hall nine uh, a lot of our guys like using redheads we love the valkyries i've been a big valk user for a long time and maybe i brought some of that back when i when i came back from crystal warrior and stuff and a lot of the guys also have adopted that and uh it's it's easy. I, it's easy way to crush uh, max bases using the redheads if you know how to use them properly. If you can get them funneled right, they're tanky little little gals. They get in there, uh, they cut out the core, and then you can you know hog or loon the backside. It's hard to find a good govalo base anymore, um, but a lot of the govahos using hogs in the back end versus loons. We we still find those every war that that we can use it. Nobody's designing an anti-Valkyrie base. So if you see the reds on a lot of our recaps, that's why we like them. Okay, Dark Knight, bring in a max attack here. It's going to open up the, the middle there, and then he's going to come in with his kill squad to take out the air defense, a couple air defenses, and the queen there. You say he's taking kind of an awkward angle into it he's coming from six o'clock and look where the queen's at she's up in that two o'clock area so he's gonna you know take a bigger swath of the base out he's able to do it because you know some of the some of the defenses uh, in there aren't quite as high actually it's it's a fairly fairly max town hall nine for defenses the expos and the mortars looks like the only thing that's that's down there uh heroes aren't aren't quite quite as high there but anyway uh he's coming in there take out a a big swath of the base get some of these air defenses down and then kill the clan castle and the queen that's the goal on any max attack so he's he's got his troops um, heading in there then he's gonna start the Laloon back portion start at three o'clock there soak up as many air traps as he can and then put two two loons on each of the defenses uh, going through well, one other thing I did think of as I was going through if you guys are good with Photoshop, I don't even have a Photoshop program. Um, I use Windows Movie Maker to edit my videos. I don't have, uh, you know, any anything fancy. So I'm not good with my thumbnails. Some of my thumbnails uh, on the pictures, like when you pull up YouTube, like our war recap, just the plain that says Clan Wars recap. 
if you guys if if there's anybody out there that's handy with like Photoshop or something and you're creative and you want to come up with something if you come up with a good thumbnail uh, I'll come record a couple of your attacks uh, if you have if you got a good clan you want to come over and uh, have a couple three star attacks if you can come up with something I will come and record and, and feature your attacks on the channel and also for the rising honor I've been doing a few of the rising honor recaps if you can come up with a good uh, thumbnail for that uh, I'd also come over and record a couple of your guys's attacks so just throw that out there as an option I need all the help I can get as far as that goes I've like I said I'm just not good with that kind of stuff hopefully I can get better stuff I think a lot of the guys are using Camtasia to edit videos um, there's just different things and uh, right now I don't I'm not gonna invest uh, 300 bucks into the editing program until the channel uh, takes off more if I can get get some more coming in or something uh, where I could where I could afford that without my wife wanting to kill me because I spend all my money on clash then then I'll do it but right now uh, just using the free stuff provided to me and so that's what we get see old lucid here brought the brought a nice hog attack here was able to take this base out let me know what you guys think too in the comments if there's something I'm not doing on the channel that you'd like to see uh, throw it out there I know a couple of people have mentioned doing like town hall 7 and 8 stuff the the downside to that is we don't have anybody in our clans uh, that are that are town hall 7 and 8 we got a couple of 8's uh, but we haven't been worn with them and we might in, in 2.0 might have some max town hall 8's come in and maybe I can get a couple of uh, eights recorded, but sevens we're not we're not running with seven. So uh, it's just I don't I'm not in the clans that have that uh, Material, but the good thing is guys you can breeze through town hall seven and eight uh, Relatively shortly in clan life if you farm hard you can get up and out of there into town hall nine Which is going to take you uh, quite a while to to max out. I believe it took me about Two years maybe to and I'm at a complete max town hall nine now. I'm just one barb king level short but all my walls all my defenses everything is is max on it so i'm trying to debate the big when do i go to town hall 10 thing now i enjoy town hall 9 i enjoy town hall 9 attacks uh the extra 30 seconds and the the updates made made things a little easier at it so uh, it's not as challenging as as it was i think town hall 9 had a great balance where uh, you just couldn't throw a slapstick attack together and three star anything. You had to put a little bit of thought into it, uh, but it was attainable. And the problem at Town Hall 10 is, it's it's really difficult and and hard to three star consistently. Uh, we got a couple guys that do it, like Lamb. He's he's a really good attacker. Uh, just has a feel for it. He's really good with the La Loons and the Archer Queen walks and stuff. Uh, but it's tougher and then town hall 11 seems to be the next sweet spot because you can come down uh, with the level three witches the grand warden uh, and stuff and you can hit tens a little bit easier uh, to get the three star so anyway I, i'm just i'm throwing it up in there i'm not sure when i'm going to make the jump it's probably going to be uh, sometime fairly soon i'd like to farm my mini up uh, to have a town hall nine so i can have both a nine and a ten that i can uh, still stay connected to the Town Hall 9 world and, and still be worn with that. Alright, TK. He does a nice little uh, drag portion on, on this. And he's got pretty low heroes there, mid-level. He's got 15, 15 heroes. And this base, obviously, looking at it, it's not a max Town Hall 9 yet. But it is a, a nice, nicely designed anti-3-star base there. And he comes in with his mid-level heroes and gets it on the first attack. So this is the advice I give out a lot of people push your heroes as hard as you can when you get to Town Hall 9 get them up to 15 15 obviously the higher the better but you can push relatively easy to 15 15 uh, at Town Hall 9 because you should be coming into in there with a, your Barb King already at level 10 uh, most likely if you ended up maxing your 8 before jumping to 9 you're gonna have a Barb King at 10 so push that Archer Queen up uh, farm hard for DE only. Don't worry about some of your uh, defensive stuff yet. Get that get that offense stuff uh, moving up there, and then you can end up taking out a lot of bases at 15-15. I try to feature them when we can uh, on the attacks down under series. 
you know some of the bases but it's 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 hard to take out a complete max max town hall nine with 15s uh you could do it but you you have to you, nothing can go wrong in your attack you need things to go pretty smoothly for you once you get up into the 20s you're afforded a little more errors you can your your heroes will make up a little more uh for you on that all right one of the last attacks here is bj and he's taking on their number 24 he's our number 24 and he's doing a govaho attack bj was in 2.0 for a while learning the ropes uh, i believe he came to us as a town hall 8 and was worn at town hall 8 for a while our 2.0 ward with quite a bit of eights there for a while and uh, came up as nine farmed his heroes up you can see he's got 15 and 20 now but he hasn't had those long he's been uh He's been pushing hard, uh, getting them up, and uh, learning learning the ropes from us in, in the main clan on on some some nice attacks don't, using Govajo and different things like that. So, uh, good job on this attack, BJ. The thing about this attack that's that's interesting is the uh, Reven there. He had two troll Teslas in the corners at noon and nine o'clock and they were heavily trapped too i didn't there we go i panned up at 12. boom you know no, nuked all the hogs up there with the double giant bombs and then he's you know he's gonna have his golems go way down to that tesla and then you know this lone golem walking up top saves the raid i think he was short on time and that uh, golem ended up going up there uh saving the day and getting the three star so uh even with the troll teslas there uh, ended up getting it so nice job BJ thanks again guys for the thousand subs uh, hope to keep everything coming for you